Here is the starting lineup for the visiting Dallas Mavericks. At small forward, Derek Jones Jr. At the other forward position, P.J. Washington. At center, Daniel Gafford. At shooting guard, Kyrie Irving. At the other guard, Luka Doncic. The head coach of the visiting team is Jason Kidd. the playoffs let's see how the east is looking taking a look at the celtics they have looked in control all season long aren't showing any signs of taking their foot off the gas anytime soon you know for the celtics their fans were expecting a lot from this team this year and they haven't disappointed them it's been a terrific season and they're far from done yet heading into the playoffs looking at the starting five for the dallas mavericks Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. P.J. Washington out there with Daniel Gafford. And it's Jones in at the three. And for the Celtics, White and Brown with the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Of course, a lot of veteran players taking the floor tonight. What do you expect when there's this much experience out there? When you're talking about experienced teams, generally speaking, they play smart. They play under control. They know how to execute a game plan. And most importantly, if this comes down to a possession battle, neither team will get rattled. Yeah, the handle of Jason Tatum is special, and he has tightened that handle over the course of years. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for Boston. Porzinga sets a screen. And he lobs it up top. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. Outside Irving to the paint. Doncic against Holiday. Outside Jones. On the wing, Irving. 4 3. Rebound, Boston. Thinking back to one of the most fun runs in the NBA, Graham, those early 2000 Mavs teams. Oh, I played against those teams, and they were incredible offensively. Of course, you had Steve Rash running the point, Dirk and Finley on the wings. And the pace they played with, they were well ahead of their time. And it's in there. That's a high percentage look for Luka Doncic. He is a menace if he gets that deep. Brown against Jones. Three-pointer. Gafford grabs the miss. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. First 
First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. From 12 feet. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Seven foot six wingspan sending it back. Kristaps Porzingis with the rejection. And he lobs it up. 107 left to play in the first quarter. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. B.A., he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. Now here's Holiday. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. Count it. To me, this is when Derek White is at his most dangerous. When the jumper is falling, it opens up the other aspects of his game. Here's Doncic, following the bucket by the Celtics. To the middle. And the dunk by Gafford. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. White for three. Doncic grabs the miss. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through, see if you can get an easy opportunity. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Outside Holiday. Pass to White. And he's going for the lob! Finished off by Tatum. Wow, how about the long arms and the timing of Jason Tatum on the alley-oop? Nice. With one on the clock. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. Tie game in Boston. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. And Dallas with possession. Known as one of the most successful teams in NBA history, the Boston Celtics continue to add to their legacy doors. Yeah, B.A., this is a roster that completely understands how special it is to play for this organization. They also are mindful of the weight of expectation that comes with it. Championships are their history. Championships are what is expected. Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Fiatasov Mikhailuk is out there with Peyton Pritchard. And it's Tillman in at the center position. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, Kyrie Irving is a deadly closer when the game is on the line. Where did it come from? He said, quote, studying the greats and striving to be greater than them. There's a commonality in the way they control emotions at the end of a game. I've been able to learn over time. Ryan? Well, he's hit some big shots. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff there. When Kyrie Irving comes off that pick and roll, he has so much attention on him due to his speed that it results in a lot of easy shots from the guys around him. It's rebounded by Kleba. And Irving has got the ball here for the Mavs. Their last meeting was in Boston, where they were unable to fight off the Celtics. And last time against this squad, they struggled to make free throws. Here's Lively. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Four on the clock. Nice assist, a nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Lively's gotten his second bucket. It's great that basketball has become such a worldwide sport, Doris. The talent in the NBA has never been better. I couldn't agree more, B.A., and great competitors, no matter what, want to play against the best regardless of where they come from. Look at the MVPs. Giannis with multiple wins in that category. Nikola Jokic with back-to-back -back MVPs. I love it. The better the competition, the greater the level of play. What's amazing about Kyrie Irving is if you ask a broad section of players who their favorite is to watch, many will tell you it's Kyrie. Now here's Doncic. 
Five point lead, biggest of the game. The and their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. White for three. Washington grabs the miss. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Well, we've seen them take advantage of the lanes given to them so far. The defense isn't plugging it up, and it's being exploited. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. Horford, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. Jones hits them both. Doris, you think about how the Celtics are built. They make shrewd personnel choices year after year. They have historically drafted very well. I think the challenge for the Boston Celtics and all organizations, the new implications of the salary cap and player personnel deal. Building teams may look different going forward. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender, Greg. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it. Excellent passer and a very versatile cross-positional defender, a guy who can contribute to a good team. Now here's Gafford. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Gafford the screen. Irving the pass to Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. Back to Horford. Oh, get it done. Horford gets it to go. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. And Doncic launches from deep. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not letting them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, not letting them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. Hey, everybody. Psst. I got a secret. We're approaching the playoffs, and we are starting the show with a breakdown of the Western Conference standings. When I look at Dallas, last week of the season, they want the playoffs to start, but they still got to take care of business. Interesting time. You want to avoid injuries, but also not lose your momentum. And we come back to the game at hand in the first half. Plenty to like for the Mavericks. Well, they got high percentage looks that let the lot. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half, Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Washington out there with Derek Jones. And it's Gafford in at the center position. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. The Celtics are battle-tested and ask what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. Yeah, yeah that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. 
they're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. One thing you can count on with this Mavericks team, they shoot threes all night long if you let them. I mean, near the top of the league for attempts beyond the arc. They do it every chance they can get. Holiday finds Tatum. From deep three-point land. Mavericks with a rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Boy, the range of Kyrie and the quickness and efficiency with which he gets it off. Look out. Outside Holiday. A minute and a half left in the third quarter of the game. Great open look there. Brown's got six points. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Irving looking around. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And they recover it. Doncic against Holiday. Second shot opportunity. Oh, Luca, like a bull in there. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. And here's Brown for three. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. And stolen by Porzingis. White for three. Mavericks with a rebound. Gafford's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Irving. The three is up. A shot that time, not on target. And it's Holiday with the ball for Boston. Trailing by eight. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Three-pointer goes up. Three-pointer goes down for White. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Time called time here. Out, the out. Mavericks decide to talk it over. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Your Celtics Entertainment. Here's Gafford. So far, he's averaging 11 points a game. Irving, the pass to Hardaway. Kleba, right side. Gafford finds Hardaway. Here's Doncic. Whoa, some artistry there from Doncic. There is this fundamental confidence to what Luka does. And those difficult floaters, no problem. And so it's Dallas closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Their play has earned them a nice lead, one they'll look to build on as the game continues. More 2K action in just a moment. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Right in Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. And Holiday powers it home. Yeah, that's some flashy stuff from Holiday. You know, those moves give confidence that carry over into your shot. Doncic against Holiday. Doncic on the wing. Back to Irving. Five on the clock. Out to Kleba. For three, Hardaway. The rebound, Celtics. And here's Brown for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Here's Gafford. And the layup is good off the glass. That passing ability compliments Irving scoring so well. Boston has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Porzingis passes to White. Porzingis with a screen on Cleva. Kick out to Brown. It's Brown on the wing. A 
Up and over Hardaway. Brown, no good. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Here's Irving. Sweet little floater. And now a six-point Dallas lead. An effective guard in the NBA has got to have the floater at his disposal. Go to work, Kyrie Irving. We see you, sir. Holiday up top. Guarded by Doncic. Here's Porzingis. What a finish from Porzingis. Embrace the spotlight, KP. Delivery in a big moment for Porzingis. Irving against White. Pass to Doncic. Here's Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. Every moment counts here. They have got to get moving. This is the very definition of desperation time. You've got to score every trip. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Mavericks. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. And they've also been scoring on the break. With how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court, any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Pass to Gafford. 35 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Doncic. The three ball. Good work defensively by White. And you know they're extremely disappointed right now. I mean, this one getting away from them. Well, they definitely have some things to work out. And love to see them finish this game the right way. And now we've got an intentional foul. First personal foul. First team foul. And he commits the intentional foul. Drew Holiday. First personal foul. Second team foul. He drops the first one, and that increases the lead to six. Luka Doncic has already established himself as a perennial candidate for MVP. He controls the game with the basketball in his hands. He is an incredible driver, and he makes the game easy for the guys around him. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. 20 seconds left in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Too little, too late. Making a change won't save them now. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. Tatum can't hit. And here's Doncic. And so the Mavericks take the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? It's very important. Um, we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively. It makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive, and I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.